Uh, hello everybody. Uh, today, um, I've just woken up nice and early and I feel motivated. Um, I usually am not an early bird, but on occasions, uh, on days like this when I'm off duty and I'm feeling energized, I wake up nice and early and uh, before I start any errands in the house, I make a good, nice, healthy breakfast. The children are still asleep because it's still um, the Easter holidays, so they are still sleeping in. Uh, for breakfast, I'll be having some organic eggs and some bread and I will also be having some tomatoes and um, I usually have tea in the morning but today I decided to have some um, coffee. Uh, I bought um, Kenyan Arabic coffee which is really nice, it really has a Good taste is one of the coffees that I take. I don't tend to be a coffee person, but I love the taste of Arabica coffee. In case you're wondering, uh, the gadget I am just pressing is a milk frother. I just bought it not very long ago and uh, it's making my coffee mornings even more enjoyable. A milk frother um, just um, makes the milk heavy and uh, foamy uh, and you add onto your coffee if you like making a latte or a cappuccino depends or even if you're making a hot chocolate for the children so it's something which is making uh, drinking coffee even more enjoyable at least for me
after breakfast I will be preparing uh, the family dinner this is a budget friendly dinner where you do not have to have um, very expensive ingredients everything is from uh, canned uh, tin um, I am using chickpeas uh, red beans uh, and white beans and I will be frying them first in onion garlic and fresh ginger and then I will add some spices and to thicken the sauce I will be using coconut milk um, these are ingredients that you can buy and keep in your pantry and use them use them use them anytime uh, when you run out of ideas of what you can make uh, this is a, also a very good recipe for people who are looking for vegetarian or vegan friendly dishes you just need to fry the um, onion garlic and fresh ginger which is already um, diced into small uh, pieces and then after you will add um, I will add some smoked paprika and then we will be adding other spices as we go along.
instead of our fresh tomatoes I am using our sun-dried tomatoes which I find they are better because they are not aesthetic so um, that is a better idea and this one too you can buy uh, in jars in this supermarket While the beans are uh, boiled down, I will be preparing the coconut uh, milk mixture. Coconut milk is usually very dense. Uh, the water has already been evaporated. Um, so I am using 400 milligrams of coconut milk and I will be adding two cups of boiled water onto the mixture and mix it well before I add it onto the beans mixture and uh, I will let it simmer down for about 15 minutes 
so from the beginning to the end uh, the dish takes about half an hour to 35 minutes which is quite good especially if you're coming from work and uh, you have all these ingredients in the pantry you just open them up because the beans they already uh, cooked and they are canned in clean water and uh, you already have meal in half an hour I will leave the stew to simmer for about uh, 15 minutes and meanwhile I'll be preparing the servings which is rice and steamed broccoli and this they really go well um, and it's something that you can enjoy and you can try out for your family and I am sure you will enjoy but do remember um, if you try it out and uh, you find something that you like, do give me a shout, give me a um, leave a comment and uh, let me know if you enjoy um, you enjoyed it.
If you enjoyed today's video, uh, please do remember to leave a comment and a like, a thumbs up and uh, do remember even to subscribe so that you do not miss when I upload new videos uh, every week and uh, I hope to see you in the next one. So meanwhile, uh, you can always check out my other videos. and. Uh, I hope to see you next time. So bye for now. And thank you very much for watching.